Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh and Brakta Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father who the world only calls God. And Yahweh Shai, that's the name of his beloved son who the world only calls Jesus Christ. The barns to the apostles a great millstone, holding it down in New York, feeding the flock and showing us the way and breaking down the truth of the scriptures and its correctness. Revelations 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and should be found no more at all. What is this great millstone spoke about in Revelations 18 and 21? Well, when you get the correctness of the scriptures, just as you see on the screen, it's talking about them ICBM missiles that's going to be targeted to hit America. That's what it's talking about, man. And Revelations, the 18th chapter, give a solid understanding on why Yahweh Hashem Shah is going to cast this great millstone, all these nuclear missiles or nuclear bombs, to burn America with, with fire, you know, for all the wickedness that America got going. And another thing, great millstone. That's what that's what we that's what through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah that we that title that be given us. Because not only is Yahweh Hashem Shah gonna destroy this place physically, but he also gonna destroy it uh, spiritually, as you already see what's going on. Now jumping back to Revelations 18 and 21, it says, and the mighty, mighty angels took up a stone like a great millstone. Now when you go into the strongs for the for the word took up right there, one of the many definitions is that it says to take up and cast stones. When you go back to the Old Testament, whenever somebody committed an act of, of um, which was an act that was wicked and it was on to death, uh, our forefathers used to take up millstones, I mean slack it, take up stones and stone a person to death. And that's a representation of what's going to happen to America. Yahweh Shemel Shah is not, he's not going to take up a physical stone no more, a rock you can find outside in the dirt. But Yahweh Shemel Shah has put it in the mind of these kings, the nations, these kings of these nations, Russia, China, you know, Iran, all these different type of nations to take up their ICBM. That's, that's what's going to be the substitute for the stone the ICBM missile and they're gonna cast it over here in Amer at America and destroy America and burn her 200 million missiles shall hit the United States of America and it should be likened onto a great millstone a great millstone crushing crushing uh, things to powder that's how the ICBM is gonna crush America to powder alright it says and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon go down. So we understand that not only do the Most High want to take America or Great Babylon down, because America is Great Babylon, all right? Not only do he want to take it down, but he want to cast it down with violence. And what was America built upon? Violence. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the toil. The work, the, the pain of our people, the Negro, Latino, Native American, the true Israelites. And for that, Yahweh Shemel Shah has not forgotten. America should not get away. And the people that run America should not get away. The, the, the lineage of Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man, should not get away. But not only should they, should they be taken down, Everything they work for, all the hard work they put in, all the laborious time that they that they struggled to get where they are now, Yahweh Shmuel Shah is gonna take it down with violence. From California to New York, down to Charlotte, across to Texas, up to Washington, to the highest point, uh, Maryland, Yahweh Shmuel Shah should sweep America with fire, and everybody that's not a part of the election shall be burnt with it. All right. It says, um, "That's what violence show that great city Babylon be thrown down and she be found no more at all." After Yahweh Shemel shot do away with America, <laughs> say goodbye, no more. You know, there should never uh, ever be established a city like America ever again. Like as you read up earlier, 
in Revelation the 18th chapter, a place where the merchants of the earth, the kings of the earth was made rich on her. You know, through the through the backs, through the through the pain of the Israelites. Alright? Where there was precious stones, pearls, fine linen, purple, wood, all exported over here in America, making these other nations rich. But Yahweh Shemal Shai shall cast all nations down. It spoke about, it spoke in that Yahweh Shai is going to take all the crowns of the nations of the earth. And when America go down, all the precious um, commodity that these nations have been made rich through selling through America, to America, they're going to bewail her. And guess what we're going to do over here, the election. We're going we're gonna to rejoice. We're going to rejoice so hard, tears is going to fall from our face. We're going to be relieved of the pain. You know? We're going to praise Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the one who have done this, that took up that great millstone. Megas Mulos, in the Greek terminology. All right? Now, when you look up this word great millstone right there, and it goes to the uh, Greek, great Megas, it says, it says um, figuratively. I'm gonna talk about it figuratively, because over here, over here, great millstone. That's what the title Yahweh Shemuel Shai has given us. He has given us the title, great millstone. Figurative, figures of speech. You know. Now, when you look up the word great right there, it reflects and says strong minds. Things esteemed highly for their importance. Of, of Yahweh Bashmael Shai, preeminent blessings. That's us. Over here at Great Millstone, we're the ones that's talking about the ICBM missiles. We're talking about that Great Millstone and how it's going to crush America to powder. We're the ones that's casting down all the fake lies, trying to get it subjected onto what's truth. You know? We're, we're the ones that stand out through the spirit of Yahweh Shemael Shai. Is it anything that we did? No. This is of Yahweh Bashmi on Shai. All right. And it says, um, "Strong minds." That's what we. That's what we show forth over here. We're strong men. All right. It says, "Of highly esteemed highly." Through, through the spirit, you see, we tower. You know. And what we and, and ultimately, besides the fact that. We, we deal with our own wicked men to try to get them straight. More importantly, we casting down America. You know, we're bringing back to remembrance all the wickedness, the things they tried to sweep under the rug. Over here at Great Millstone, we're casting that down and bringing forth the light. Starting with our, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai and showing much respect and double honors to. To the, uh, to the great millstone apostles and leaders. All right. Uh, then when you go to uh, millstone, goes back to the Greek mulos. It says had to, because back then a great millstone was a tool used to grind powder. And what what they did is, is they had two great millstones. One was stationary, and the other on top it was turned about by an ass. And that's us. We're that, we're that. We're figuratively that millstone. We've set up the, the, the we've, we have the foundation of the scriptures. We have the truth of the scriptures. And just as that, what is an ass, a worker? We're working and turning about that millstone and grinding to powder all the lies that's been established over here in America, man. That's what we're doing. So, Revelations 18 and 21, the great millstone, the ICBM missiles, the, the fatality, the finishing for America, the, 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 the lake of fire, the great death, all right? Now, before I close it out, I got one more scripture that I want to end out with. When you jump to Thessalonians 2 and um, Thessalonians 2 
and 8 it says and then shall that wicked be revealed whom Yahweh Shema Osha shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming so that's what we witnessing right now man we're witnessing the great millstone spiritually bringing down the, the United States of America the great Babylon man all right Yahweh Shema Osha is taking this place down spiritually through his great his men at great millstone and then physically with them ICBM missiles which is to destroy the whole every everything on the soils of America all right jumping back to Revelations 18 verse 20 verse 22 and the voice of harpers and the magicians and pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more on thee and no craftsman of whatever sort craft he be shall be found no more in thee and the sounds of the millstone should be heard no more at all in thee. All the representation of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai bringing down the mirth, the joy, the excellency, the things that got America so great. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai casting it down. And the mill, this, the millstone, the work, the many companies that was that's established, the revenue. You know, the cycle of revenue. Everything cast down. All right? And an elect man standing up. Coming to coming back to take over what's, what's been taken from them. The planet Earth. You know? Coming to get these elites who established America, the great Babylon, through decept through sorcery and deception and you know. Every the elect man coming to put everybody in slavery, man. All right, and to put the plant, the planet Earth back in its rightful place. All right, it says, and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in me, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in me. The light, the understanding of America, its philosophy, no more. Yahweh Shemuel Shai is gonna treat it like, like. Like these wicked people do a birthday cake, man. He gonna blow out that candle. You know? It says, And thy merchants were thy great men of the earth, for thy sorcery, for by thy sorceries were all the nations deceived. And that's why that great millstone, that's that's why Yahweh Shem Shai purposed in the mind of these other nations to destroy this kingdom using that great millstone. The ICBM missile. All right? Because of the sorcery, the deception of this place. Everybody's seeing and witnessing now that America is full of crap. You know? All the nations, man. And more important, the elect men. We're seeing this place and we're separating ourselves. Just as verse 8, verse um, 5, um, verse 4 says, uh, come out of her, my people. Representing, we're gonna be beamed up by them, by them chariots of Yahweh Shemuel and Shai. We're gonna be beamed up by them chariots, man. Right? And then Micah two and ten says, "Come out of her. Uh, uh, this is not your rest. Come out of her. All right? Because we're mentally uh, separated from this kingdom. We know what the deal is with this kingdom. We know the ins and outs." And it's been nothing but pain and sorrow and slavery and death for us. But Yahweh Shai, who is the way, the truth, and, and the life, we have come back to him, back to life. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. All right? In America, man. And that's why Yahweh Shema Shai is going to destroy this kingdom. So with that, I'm going to close out and say, Thee Yahweh. Rock down shy. Hope your brothers was edified. Shalom, Akiyam. Stay up. Shalom.